Okay, so this is the um, Transformer Rescue Bot Electronic Fire Station, and it is made by Preschool or Hasbro Company, and it's a nice thing. It's been really, it's durable, and one thing I like about it is that the stickers come on it. I hate putting stickers on at Christmas time, um, but you can see, like, this sticker is kind of crooked, so I don't know. It's okay, but it's kind of... But, okay, so it comes with all these pieces you see here. So you get this water, it's supposed to be a water launcher, but it's more like a water pusher. It does come with this really nice storybook. Um, you know, you'll read it to your kids, but it's a really nice storybook. Um, a little guy and this fire engine. This also is a transformer, so here for hair. Um, and then this water launcher could go anywhere. It can go here, it can go up here, or it can go on the front of... Um, this fire truck right here and the way this works is you push it and see it's supposed to be a launcher and it's supposed to put out the fire but it doesn't work really great sometimes it doesn't work at all I don't know my kids really like the shooter type things with with their we own a lot of Imagine Next and um, this is like it just doesn't work great I don't know so anyway that's a little bit of a disappointment and obviously doesn't put down the fire when the fire goes down, there's no like handle or something to flip the fire up. You have to get your hands in there and flip it back up. The other thing that this has on it is um, it's supposed to be a car launcher. But you put the wheels in here and it's a button back here and you push it. And it's more of like a car pusher <laughs> than a launcher. Um, this is the back place. And this is kind of fun. You know, your guy could climb up or whatever. Right here is supposed to be the hero elevator. So this guy's supposed to go in here. You know, and you just turn this around. This reminds me of, like, toys I had when I was a kid. That's pretty nice. Um, anyway, it has this fun little, you know, really creative kind of imaginative down in here. The one thing I really do like about this is that this closes up. And so, you know, it, it could go into two different spaces. So either, you know, little or long. But we don't have a lot of long space, so I really like these toys that do fold up. Because when you buy a big toy... Um, storage is always an issue. Okay, so this is the cool part about this thing right here. Um, when you turn this handle, he turns into Optimus Prime. And then these go off, and you can see he looks like Optimus Prime. So, anyway, that's kind of a fun thing, too. All in all, um, I'd give this maybe a three and a half or four stars. I'd mark it down because it shows you, like, all these other pieces that you can have. And it would be really fun if it came with two cars and two guys. And maybe they have like a thing where it like lowers the guy down on a string. Something else. It just needs a little something else. So, you know, if you're buying a big set like this, it's a little bit frustrating when the stuff doesn't work awesome. Or when you don't have a little extra pieces to make the playtime last a little longer. So, I guess just depending on the price point of what the other pieces cost. Um, you know, you could buy more pieces or whatever, but I really do like the sets where they just come with enough stuff for two kids to play with one thing or one kid to play a little bit longer. So, again, I'd say three and a half, probably four stars. The one thing I really do look for in a toy now is durability, and when we bought all of the Transformers, they just would fall apart, and this seems very durable. Something that um, Hasbro Nerf guns always fall apart. My Hasbro stuff has fallen